We've been rambling like crazy. There's so much so, to talk about. <laughs> so what would you what what do you what would you say is the hardest part about gauging a dance floor or or keeping people on the dance floor? The hardest part. I, I honestly I think it's the mix of the young kids getting married. Young they're not kids. Young adults getting married and the older people. Like finding the mix because and that's what I always do. I always look to how do I, how do I join the young and the, and the yes, old crowd. Yes, yes, And one thing I always tell my couples is, I know you're having 220 people at your wedding. You're never going to have 100% of the, your guests on the dance correct, floor. Correct, correct. Not only that, but Brian Red on YouTube, shout out to Brian Red. he did a video that said you should never have 100% of your people on the dance floor. The reason is, I always tell my, my couples this is, Weddings and funerals are the only times when family and friends really all come together, right? True. They're going to want to catch up on 10 years of not visiting. So you know, true. you want them on the patio smoking a cigar at the bar, yeah. catching up. Hey, there's my jam. Let's go dance to this song. Okay, cool. Now they'll they'll go somewhere else, right? Right, right, right. But uh yeah, man, I mean I think that's the hardest thing. And you want like mixing it back and forth between Okay, so y'all, I'm, I'm like, I'll tell them, hey, y'all go hydrate, go get you something to drink. It's time for, <laughs> let's exactly. do something with the, the older people. <laughs> yeah. So being that you're in East Texas, right? Yes. I know a lot of people like, and, and even here in Houston, we still get it. Like where people from out of town, like, oh, you're from, you're from Texas. Do you have horses? No. Right. You know, cactus. In yeah. The yard. Yeah. Yeah. So. They think you live on a ranch because yes. you say you're from Texas, right? Yes. So out in East Texas, I know it's more country out there. It truly is. So would you say a, a large amount of your music is? Because I see some of your videos where everybody's wearing cowboy hats and. Oh yeah, yeah. Would you yeah. say a large majority of the music you I play is say country? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big. It and then I'll get those that are almost no country, and and because you're so used to it, you're like, oh, you get excited because we're going to have a little bit of mix of some new stuff, some right. fresh stuff. So that's kind of exciting to change it up a little bit. I'll tell you what's crazy is these couples that tell me we don't want any country. I'm like, yes. yes. I'm like, man, I, personally, because I love country music. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm like, not even like Neon Moon. Not Neon Moon, the go-to. something, yeah. you know. And now <laughs> what I will agree with, and I posted this on my Instagram a while back, is you do not have to have lion dances at your no. wedding to have a good time right but in east texas it's big yeah it is trust me i i mean there's there i'll have some that tell me don't play some particular ones but almost always yes. line dances so when i see y'all stuff and you're like yeah we don't do line dances and stuff i i don't understand it because it's like oh we we gotta have it the k wing is not just like footloose or anything the like k wing is cool man it's a line dance it's a line dance <laughs> but it's it's a line dance you don't hear at every wedding that's true a same old two-step is my jam yeah i love same old two-step and church clap i'm just telling who i am right now okay I'll there's some inner thing. things in me <laughs> one thing that you can play at any wedding um is like cajun music Oh, yes, but I don't, I've not done it. You'd be surprised. It would totally yeah. work. Sometimes I'll just experiment with it and I'll yes. throw one on and people just love the beat, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, now, Nick Spinelli, uh, I don't know. If I you do, know, yeah. You know, I follow him. You know Nick Spinelli. Sure. What's up, Nick? Uh, <laughs> he has a video out there that he says, he straight up tells his clients, I don't play line dances yes, at that Yes, I've seen it. I've seen it. He's like, it. I don't that's care. Like, <gasps> I don't care if it's on your playlist. I'm not playing it. And I'm like, dude, that's freaking ballsy, but I love it, right? Like, Right. Like, I, if it were up to me, I'd be like, no, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, 100%, yes. And yes, I'll tell you why. I watched that, too, and I've seen that, and I oh, cringe, I, and I'm I like. I agreed with it. You know, to be honest, I know we could get away with it, not doing it, just keep that dance floor hopping with all this stuff, but then. The thing is, and I tell my wife all the time, is, you know, sometimes I'll, be, I'll play banger after banger after banger. And yeah. Nobody's dancing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, okay, what's going to grab them? I'm like, watch this. I throw Cupid Shuffle on. Yeah. And 150 people yeah. come. I'm like, is this the first time this song's 20 years old? <laughs> oh, my god. People gosh. lose their mind. They start so yelling true. like they won the lottery. I'm like. So true. It's, so true. it's ridiculous. That's just like some of the older songs. The older. Oh, God. Yeah. By Usher. Yeah, as a go-to. I'm not gonna lie. I how never get tired. Song? I never get tired. How old is that song? Dude, what that come out in 05? <laughs> I'm telling you, there are just some, and you're like, man, y'all get me. <laughs> I yeah, love it. it's crazy. <laughs> 
I love it. So what do you think so far? I mean, we're out in the country. I'm, I mean, we're this going feels down like these home. back roads. This totally feels like home. I'm this, thinking. This sounds like a country song. I'm looking for a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's plenty of land for me. Yeah, there is. This is crazy because I'm like, I'm coming down to the city. I'm going to go to a city wedding. And by gosh, we're going to a barn in you're, the country. You're going to a barn. like <laughs> You're like, I feel like I'm back at home now. For sure. No, this is really cool, though. The venue, I, after looking at it, it's going to be nice. I'm excited. Guys, if you're not following Debbie, I'm going to put her Instagram right here. Make sure you um, go follow her. Check out her videos. Um, she does some really great events, some weddings. Uh, I saw you did like a retirement home or an old folks oh, home. Yes. Yeah, that's so cool. They they want to have fun too. Let me right? tell you what. We went to one, the coolest thing. My husband went with me. I go monthly. And uh, my husband went one. And one of the elderly ladies stood up at the end and she said, I just, and she had the floor. Everybody was listening to her talk. And she said, I just want to thank y'all for remembering us. Wow. And we got in the car after we loaded up. And my husband's like, now I know why you do it. Yeah. And it's like, you know, people with Alzheimer's and people with all these different things, if nothing else reaches them, music does. Yes, absolutely. And that's that's our gift, you know. It's awesome. I do that. I love it. And you that's know what's crazy week. is like, we're born with an ear for music. Yeah. Because yeah. like, say Noah, you know, Noah's about to be six months. Even when you put on music around him now, he starts like dancing. Oh yeah. And I'm like, Nobody. He didn't learn that. Yeah. It's just. It's just built into yeah, the yeah, DNA. Yeah. Like, hey man, I hear music. I'm feeling good. Yeah. You when know? they say music for the soul, it's it is not. It really lie. is. It truly is. So here's all your land. I know. And there's horses. These people and cows. live on acres. That's like not in the city. If you live on an acre of land, and right. this, this is looking like Back my on. neck of the woods. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come. There's a bunch of goats them. out there. Goats. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Everybody out here has got like a barn or whatnot. A barn? Storage. This is what storage would look like yeah. for you if you lived in the country. Exactly. You would have a store, your own storage barn. As a matter of fact, when my wife and I were looking at building a new house, um, I told her, if we're going to build a house, I want a garage like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. I want something where I could just pull my car in, I could <laughs> pull a boat in, whatever. Absolutely. You know? All your equipment, you could buy more equipment. Yeah. We're going to take that out of the video. <laughs> hey, like, I've already texted my husband. He, I was like, he's got all the cool gadgets. So <laughs> I know he's freaking out right now. Gosh, she's going to come home with all the stuff in her cart. <laughs> like, let me let me check her saved for later yes. card on Amazon. <laughs> so this is where you got to be careful. Okay. Is this on the road? This to... is it. This is. Oh, so, this is it. Yeah. So this, nice. this used to be the owner's house. And then she turned it into a bed and breakfast. Okay. Um, sadly, it caught fire. I think it was like an electrical thing. Oh, no. So it's kind of under construction right now. I'll be darned. Um, but it sleeps like 26 people. So it's pretty cool because if you have a wedding here, you can then just come down the road and stay here. For right? sure. Look at me totally doing um, um, video. So I come to do a wedding in Houston, guys. And <laughs> we're at a barn. Back home. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> So, yeah, this is, I mean, you can see she's got cows. And she does. Horses. She's, and so, on Instagram, look for Willie the Shot Donkey. Okay. That's who's going to be here tonight. So, does he carry shots Yes. On his, Shut on his saddle. up. And so, during cocktail hour, Shut up. you just walk up to him, grab a shot. Just, just. Totally going to, that's awesome. Now, we have burrows up there that carry mm -hmm. the beer burrows. But well, this is, shot these are donkey. mini donkeys. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to introduce these Texans to that. There is no doubt somebody won't take that on. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's got a lot of followers on Instagram. Okay, this is really pretty, though. So that's Willowin. That's the reception party. hall. Okay. That's the ceremony. Nice. And they're going to have how many guests? About 200? 210 is, is nice. what they put on there. So what's your turnout? Like, when, you, when people say we're going to have about 200... Do you in your mind see 200? What's immediately? 170. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. yeah. It's automatic for us to go, okay, you, yeah, you think yeah. you're going to have that 200. Hey, but, you know, in our minds, we already figure how many that's going to be. And so this is my battle at every wedding I go to is when you pull up, somebody's always parked in front. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Yes. That so, guys, we're here an hour, over an hour yes. later. We're at Willow Inn with Debbie the DJ all the way from East Texas. And this is going to be her um, first Houston experience on how we do things here. So, love it. We're going to get unloaded, show you the setup, 
Um, super easy setup today. Just DJ setup, ceremony setup, gig bar. Hey, this um, is funny what we talked about, though. All of us DJs are very particular about our stuff. I told them, I'm here to help you, but I know that we're all meticulous about our stuff. I'll help, but you just tell me exactly how you want it. Absolutely. <laughs> and you know what? Since this car wants to be in the way, I'm just going to park next to it. There you go.